back on my channel let's learn power bi together and uh, today we'll see one new project in power bi on hr analysis domain okay so we'll give you the understanding of this domain and we'll give you how we implement whole project in real time scenarios and at the end of the video we'll give you one important tip to improve the performance of our reports in power bi so let's see this video till end okay so let's start so we'll see the data set first and understand the data set so in the data set we have this uh, column so we have the age column is there in this age column we have the age of that particular employees and uh, we have one column to analyze we can see the target column is this so in this attrition column we have the two levels s and no so wherever attrition is yes that means that uh, employees are leaving the organization then we have the business travel so here also we have some categories like non travel travel frequently and travel rarely and then we have this column daily rate then we have the department so uh, department is like we have the different department in our organization like hr sales development team like that then we have the distance from home column then we have the education then we have the education field then we have the employee count then we have the employee number environment satisfaction gender hourly rate then job involvement column we have the job level column and job role job satisfaction marital status monthly income monthly rate number of companies worked and all this data present for employees okay we have employee count and all the related data regarding the employee attrition okay so this is the data so in the hr in the hr attrition domain what what is this domain is like for example we have one company and uh, the ceo of that company wants to know why people are leaving that company okay so the attrition meaning the people who are leaving the company so in this domain we need to analyze the hr data so hr is having all the data of that particular employee from joining date to resigning date and in between what all things they did what training they did to that person and uh, what is the reason they they are doing attrition so all the data present in the hr database so we need to analyze that data hr database the data so for example we have one company and in that companies hr database all these things are present all these columns are present and we need to analyze these columns and we need to find out some kpis by our own and we need to give them some insights on that data okay so as of now i have created this report but here there are a much data present so we can create so many kpis okay so it is just a basic dashboard you can do some analysis and you can add some more kpis if you want to practice so let's understand this data set now so let's understand this report now so the report is regarding hr attrition analysis i created the cards so in the visualization pane there is one visual called cards in power bi so i have taken the cards for all these uh, numbers and i'm showing the total employee count and from that total employee what all employee who did attrition so total attrition count is 237 and then in this total attrition what all male attrition is there and what all female attrition is there i'm showing that in this other two cards okay so here we have 1470 is the count of total employee in the organization among that total employees we have 237 attrition okay among that 237 we have 87 is female attrition and the 150 is male attrition okay then we have the next visual next kpi employee attrition count by department so here we can see the department so there are research and development sales and women resource these departments are there in that organization and as per that, de that department we are showing the attrition where the attrition count is more so in this visual we can take the insights like in the research and development we can see there is the more count for attrition so wherever there is the this color these two colors are showing 
yes and no so we need to analyze the attrition where attrition is yes okay so this is the color is showing the s yes. so here we can see we have 133 attrition is there 133 employees that are leaving from this department okay so we can give the insights to that particular company we need to uh, do some we need to give some recommendations why people are living in that research and development department and what we can do for retaining the employees okay then we can see in the human resource we have a less number of attrition so in that department people are not leaving more it's like this okay then we have the employee attrition count by gender so we can see where uh, the male and female attrition count so this color is showing no and this color is showing yes so in the male we can see there are more than uh, the attrition is more than the females okay so here we have 150 count of attrition and in the female section we have 87 count of attrition okay then here we can see the employee attrition count by job role so these all are the job roles and we can see we have the uh, this total number of employees in this uh, sales executive and we can uh, we have this as uh, we have the more count of attrition in this particular sales executive department uh, sorry sales executive job role okay and in this way we can analyze this visual we can see the attrition by particular department by particular gender by particular job role and so many kpis we can add to see the attrition and we can give the recommendation and insights on that data so that they can improve their hr system for that particular organization okay then here i have taken the decomposition tree visual from this visualization pane and here i am showing the decomposition tree what it shows like it is giving us the different uh, decisions so it, it work like a decision tree so here i am taking the total employee count where attrition is s okay so i am giving the filter for attrition in this filter section i need to show the count where attrition is done okay so this is the count for employee attrition and then here we can see one plus icon is there so we can click over here and we can see what we need to analyze like if we have to analyze the total employee attrition by department then we need to click on this department then we can see how many uh, from among these 237 how many employees are there from this particular department okay so this is the low value and this is the high value in this case so we can see total employee high value for the uh, s count so this is the attrition where 237 people are leaving this company so we if we have to analyze this according to the department and gender or any other so we can see from this decomposition tree the high value for particular gender so among this 237 the high value is for male we can take insights like that then we can click over here and then we need to see the high value as per the department so we can see like this okay and then we can add mul multiple fields so that we can analyze it and give some insights to the organization okay then we have the employee attrition count by job level and here i'm using this area chart from the visualization pane and here i'm showing the different job levels and their employee count who is living and who is not living okay so here we can see on this tool tip for job level one this is the count of no and this is the count for s okay so here we have the more number of attrition in job level first as per the other levels we can say like this okay so in this way we can analyze the data by using different visuals in power bi and so uh, i was talking about the one tip regarding performance improvement in power bi for the reports so that tip is how to improve 
so when we are opening the report so it it is like loading and loading because of some we used some more visuals and some more data so how we can improve that loading time is we need to go we need to click on any visual and then we need to click here on the format and we need to go to the edit interaction so whatever we don't want to interact this visual with any shapes like that so this are these are the icons i have added so we can just close this interaction for this particular visuals okay so if i will go here and i will open this so if i will close this file and open again so it don't take so much time to open this report okay so in this way we can improve the performance of the report by doing some interaction of and uh, so this all about hr attrition analysis so i have did some basic report on this data so you need to create one you need to analyze some kpis and you need to create the report like this and if you have any questions in that development so you can write it down in the comments and if you want to learn power bi then please don't miss to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos and don't miss to like share and subscribe okay thank you for watching this video